A bishop has been arrested after a mother of five was found dead at a guest house in Habia State with foam in her mouth, almost as though she had been poisoned to death. The bishop who was identified as Bishop Timothy Otu was said to have taken the deceased evangelist Happiness Ekezi to a guest house where they can both secretly make love to each other. It turned out that this whole tragic incident exposed their affair. He was a married man and so was she. However, it turned out they've been secretly texting each other, exchanging love messages and meeting up secretly at lodges and hotel rooms. So on Saturday the 11th of August was when everything came crashing down. They had both lodged at Jubilee's guest house in Abia State in Abba. And while they were there as it was believed that they were having sex, somewhere around 11pm, the receptionist at the hotel accounted that Bishop Timothy left the hotel because he told them that he was going to get food for him and Evangelist Happiness. But he never came back. And after he left, the hotel receptionist went to check up on Evangelist Happiness and they were knocking at the door, but she was not responding. And that was when the hotel knew something was up. The receptionist told the manager and the manager immediately involved the police because they were suspecting that something had happened to Evangelist Happiness. By this time, it was already Sunday morning, around 1 or 2 a.m. when the police arrived. They broke down the hotel room only to find Evangelist Happiness lying naked on the bed with foam all over her mouth and her nose, almost as though she had taken a poisonous substance, causing her to foam in her mouth and nose. Since the hotel did not know who the bishop was because to them he was just like every other guest, they went through Evangelist Happiness mobile phone. That was when they discovered that she's a mother of five children and her husband who is alive and also still married to her was working in Bayaus State at the time of this incident. Her body was later evacuated from the hotel, taken to the morgue. By this time, the police already know who they were looking for. They already knew who brought her to the hotel room and they knew where to find him. Because by that Sunday morning, Bishop Timothy was at his church preaching the word of God. He was at his church even preaching about forgiveness. It was said that the police had to wait for him to finish his sermon before they put him in handcuffs and arrested him. As at the time of making this video, it has not been stated what he's being charged with or what he's being um, arrested for. They knew he was the one who went to the hotel with her and they knew he's the one who would have information as to what may have caused her death. Is it possible that he killed her? Or is it possible that they may have taken some kind of drugs to enhance their sexual performance only for it to be catastrophic in the end? Given that she was foaming from her mouth and nose, it is very possible that she may have been drugged. But the police could deduct that it was consensual because when they went through Happiness mobile phone, they saw a love text message exchanged between the two of them and the discussion about hooking up as it is being believed that they may have hooked up many times in, at different hotels or different guest houses before this time it came crashing down. It's such an unfortunate situation given their status in their churches. I can imagine how this can be a disappointing blow to them. As it stands now, nothing has been said as to what he's been charged with, but we will just have to wait for the story to develop, which I'm sure it would. Would he be charged for causing her death? Or I think maybe if they did an autopsy, if they found that she took any medication or any drug, he might be held partly responsible. The fact that he did not even call for help or call the police. The fact that he ran away and left her there and he even had the mind to go to church to continue preaching to his audience like he did not just witness a woman die at the hotel the day before shows the kind of person he is and I guess he was putting his reputation first. He hasn't even admitted to spending time with her. I don't think that has been said but I don't think he has any reason to deny but like we've said many times before on our channel when someone accidentally passes in our presence or in our care it's hard for people to believe you have no hand in it especially when the next course of action that you take was to run away or hide the body or get rid of the body but what he did was just run away and i guess that can make it suspicious but i believe an autopsy might be his vindicator 
in the end you guys let me know what you think about this story let me know your thoughts do you think he had something to do with it or do you think it was just an accident that became overboard for him and he did not just know how to handle it let me know your thoughts in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe follow us should there be any future updates on this story you'll be the first to get notified thank you guys for watching